Hello lovelies, welcome to today's video. So for this video, I thought I might try something different. Now this started out as a complete experiment and honestly, once I'd finished the first side, I wasn't too happy with it. I thought, you know, it was a bit of a fail, but then I kept going, did the other side and I um, was actually really happy with it. So I ended up really, I'm glad I did this. So I was at Daiso and they have all their bags on the back wall and they had a, a small bag, same as this, but it was canvas. And I thought, oh, that would be a great material. I'd love to decorate that and paint it. They didn't have any. So I got the denim. Um, the canvas would have worked so much better, but I do have to admit, I like how the canvas turned out. So this is just like a small, a small little bag. And I thought it would make a great little caddy for my desk when I go to a crop or something. So basically, I only wanted to work on this small section here. So I've taped off, um, masked off the outside because I knew I was going to use a distress spray. And I knew I would get some overspray. So I'm protecting the rest of the bag. Funnily enough, when I do the other side, I forget to do this. But you'll see what I mean in a minute. So I wanted to use the brick stencil that we got in a past mixed media kit. Um, mine went missing in the post, so I haven't actually got it, which is also why I'm using the blue spray. So I'm just using um, a similar stencil. So I really, yeah, I wanted to use the brickwork stencil, but um, turns out I don't have a brickwork. This is the closest thing I've got. So I'm using the faded jeans oxide spray. Now I, I had an inkling that these would either work or fail. They do work, it's just because the colour I'm using is faded jeans, obviously because I'm using on top of denim, not the greatest. But um, this does work. Now, I've used a few different products in this video. Um, I've used the stress sprays, I've used the colour blast paste, I've used gesso, I've used a fair few things. Um, the thing that works best is the color paste. I have to wait till you see how it looks. It's fantastic. So the things I'm using are from past mixed media kits and also some things that I have um, brought from the online store. So I've got a few stencils, a few different um, bits and pieces here. I think the only thing I use that I haven't uh, bought from the from the online store or used from the mixed past mixed media kit would be the gloss spray I used to add some pink and my stencil that I use on the other side but everything else I've either gotten in past mixed media kits or I've gotten from the uh, online store so now I wanted to add a bit of pink and I had a feeling that the new Dina Wakely gloss sprays would work and they do really quite well but um, so I've spritzed it through my stencil, but then as I've done in past uh, videos, I flip my stencil over and use it like a stamp. There's a lot of excess media left over on the stamp once you finish with it. And I, you know, don't like anything to go to waste. So I've smushed it onto the background to, um, to make it work so you can see it. And I end up with this nice little splodgy piece. I'm all about the grunge and the, and the mess, so it didn't bother me. So this is that awesome firework stencil that we had that we got in the mix this month's mixed media kit, and this is the color paste. So oh, I've really got to stop saying so. I know I say it all the time. I'm trying. I'm more hyper aware of it. I'm using um, the color paste through the stencil. Now it does look a little dodgy. This is because this bag isn't completely flat. It's got ridges around the outside of this um, where, where I've taped, which is why it makes it a little harder to um, stand, um, put the paste through that stencil perfectly. But I managed to make it work. Um, the other side, I like I said, this was an experiment. I wasn't even sure it was going to work. The other side actually turns out so much better. But anyway, it, um, I still like it. So this is what I'm left with. This is how um, my little section has gone. What I decided to do, um, because I've smushed on the left-hand side, I messed up that little firework a bit. I decided to get some black paint and sort of make a frame. So this sort of gives it a border so it doesn't um, look as noticeable. I thought I could cover up that little splodgy bit where I smushed it um, with some of the black paint. I don't mind it. It works. Now, because this denim is dark, um, everything isn't popping as much as it would on a different material. So if this was on canvas or even a lighter denim, all of this would pop so much more. But you can see... Um, 
where I have have used everything. So it's not a fail. You can this definitely works. This technique works. It's just my medium, my media that I'm using it on, I think. So now I'm adding, um, I mean, you've got this black paint out. I'm adding uh, some splatters because I love splatters. And then I'm adding um, more white splatters. This is my cheap and nasty white paint pen. I've had this for ages. I got it from a junk shop. Now I decide to write my name. I've got this little space down the bottom here where I wiped off one of the color bursts because it wasn't quite a uh, color blast uh, fireworks because it wasn't yeah, it was a bit smushed. So I ended up deciding to write my name. Um, I used my paint pen to start with, but I don't like it. It doesn't turn out great. It seek, it's soaks into the denim a bit too much. So I decided to go back in and use some gesso. Uh, this works really well. It gives it a nice bright pop. It's nice and white. When, if, when I use white, I want it to be crisp white. I don't want it to fade or be off-white or cream. I like a nice bright white. So even when I've used the paint pen to do some splatters, as you can see, it's soaked in a bit. It's not as great. That's why I come back in with my gesso and do some splatters that way. I'm not very good with writing. Um, it doesn't look too great, but, you know, it's my name. You can see it. This is where I'm going to add some of those splatters because, like I said, I like bright white. And that's going to be it for this side. We're going to flip it over and do this side. I have to admit, I like this side much more. <laughs> now, I'm starting with some gesso. Now, this side had a little pocket, which is why this, it's smaller. This is the front layer of the pocket. Now, I've put in the gesso down, and I'm going to use my Distress Spray, my Oxide Spray, through the stencil onto the gesso. So you're going to notice it much more because it's on gesso. But look, yes, I don't cover it up and I get a lot of overspray. Like I said, I wasn't actually planning on doing this side, but I just sort of went with it and I wasn't thinking and didn't cover it up. I'm kind of glad that I didn't because because I have that overspray, I decide to add to the outside instead of just working on this one little part here, I end up working on the whole bag. So I've run with it. Like I did on the other side, I've used what's left of that um, Distress Ink and smushed it onto the bag and it's just given me a few areas with a bit of color, a bit of pop. If this had been a more noticeable color, probably wouldn't have looked as good, but because I have again used that faded denim from last month's kit, it um it it worked. So I think I got I got lucky with that one. I've just traced around some of those lines from the stencil just because I like things to pop. And now this is where I decided to bring in some more of the color blast paste. So I've got this star stencil and I'm going around the edges uh, using the color blast paste in the bling. I love how this works. I was actually planning on doing more, but by the time I had finished with it and put splatters and things in, I, I really like how it turned out. I love this side. I really do. It turned out fantastic. Now, like I've said at the beginning, the color blast paste works fantastic for this technique. To use it on fabric, on an apron or a bag, this stuff is, is great. As you can see, it's bright, it's bold. Um, like I said before, mine isn't completely, my surface isn't completely flat, which is what's caused me to have a few bumps. My paste is a bit thicker in a few, other, in a few areas. Doesn't bother me. If you want it perfect, um, obviously you could achieve that result. But yeah, as you can see, um, I've got the handles and things. There's a lot of ridges and yeah, that's why it is thicker in some places, which is why I rub rubbed off a few of the stars because they were just like really thick. But yeah, as I was saying, this stuff works fantastic for this technique. And because it's the dark denim, it really pops. Now, this is a gold spray that I got from the online shop a while ago. It was actually in one of the kits as well. This is the gold um, shimmer spray that we got in one of the kits a couple months back. Actually, I think it might have been April, not too long ago. And um, it really works well. It pops beautifully on this denim. And because I was going to add a few more stars with the Color Blast ink, I was just waiting for it with the Color Blast placed. I was just waiting for it to dry. By the time I put the splatters on, it looks great. Like, I was really surprised with how well this side came together and how much I loved it. So this is a, a stencil out of my stash. This is a Color Blast stencil as well. 
and this stencil was, I was trying to find something that would fit and I was lucky enough to find this one. That was the, you know, fingers crossed that it worked because again, lots of bumps, lots of ridges and I was hoping my paint didn't seep under my stencil, but I got lucky it didn't. The trick to that is to make sure there's not a lot of paint on your makeup sponge. In my case, I use makeup sponges. If there was too much paint, it would definitely seep under my stencil, but that was how I was able to make sure it worked. So it says, what a beautiful mess, because if you know anything about me and my art technique and what I like to do, I'm a messy scrapper, I'm a messy artist, I'm a messy person in general. So I thought this would be kind of perfect for an art bag. And then I'm just adding some black splatters to go with that. And this is how my bag turned out. So I, I'm in love with this. I adore it. And it was just a new, different way to use up my products. So, um, yeah, I thought it would be a good little video to share with you. So I hope you like it and uh, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.